Greetings folks, so here's the thing, this is a little bit of a departure from me because I don't normally do uh, much to do with uh, PCs and uh, what have you and uh, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about uh, how you can uh, use a two and a half inch disk drive and extract it from uh, an external hard drive uh, case and uh, why would you want to do this, so why don't, wouldn't you just buy an internal drive and just put it straight in there and uh, the answer to that is, is that you look at this for example, this is a two and a half inch internal hard drive, uh, five terabytes, so for um, this pretty large size for a two and a half um, uh, inch drive and the cost on this is £217 so I would say in the US that's probably well this is, a, this is including tax here so you can probably say it's about $217 uh, in the US at the current exchange rate or thereabouts so okay we've seen that so how much is it if I buy an external 5 terabyte 2.5 inch drive so here you go Seagate again see this was Seagate and uh, here we have uh, 5 terabyte. it's a USB 3 drive, a portable 2.5 inch drive, and it's only $169.99. So again, about $170. I actually looked on Amazon.com, uh, the US uh, Amazon site, and they're actually cheaper than that. But uh, the, the same thing still applies. Is um, Why is it that uh, there is this difference? So, uh, so let's have a look. So what I've done is uh, I have one of these... Uh, Seagate backup units, and uh, we're going to have a little look, see and see how we take it apart. So uh, bear with me, and we'll get right to it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit as well because uh, I'm quite likely to move out of frame if we're not careful. So okay, and I'm also quite likely to go out of focus. So apologies if we do. Um, so let's open this up. Right, like that. It shows you this. I haven't taken one of these uh, apart yet. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, we're not going to need that either. Uh, we're going to be using it as an internal drive. Let's take out the cellophane. There we go. Now, I've just got to work out how to get in. Now, I've not been inside one of these before, so uh, this might take me a little while, but uh, I do have a little toolkit here, which, um, let's see if we can try to just get into it with uh, one or two of these tools here. So, um, this is a, might help us, I don't know. Let's have a look. There's no, nothing that suggests that there is a any means of getting in here easily, but I'd suggest that oh, this actually feels quite hard, uh, plastic one of that, because I can feel an opening here, here we go, let's see if we can, there we go, that'll do, wow, that was easy, <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that, so let's see how we can get a little bit further into this now, oh look, Seagate Barracuda, now that rings a bell, 5 terabyte. Hmm. Zoom in on that a little bit. Oops. See, it's Seagate Barracuda, 5 terabytes. Now that rings a bit of a bell because. There we go. Seagate Barracuda. So, I don't know, but it looks desperately like this is actually exactly the same drive. Oh well, okay. Let's uh, take it apart and see if we can have a look inside it and. Some rubber bits and pieces which we're not going to need anymore. There we go. Pop that aside. Now you see there's some um, extra shielding that's been added here, so let's pull all that nonsense off. We're not going to need that where this is going. Um, oops. There we go. Oh, I tore it. Never was very good at. I'm doing these things and let's pull that off. Okay, so this is just a bit of um, electromagnetic um, 
compatibility shielding, so uh, it's to keep uh, all the RF, uh, the radio frequency, um, out. Um, both uh, stop external RF coming in, so radio frequency things like transmitters and like your phone and whatnot, and also it coming out. I would imagine it's probably more for it coming out. And you'll see here that there's a little board on the end here, which is for the USB 3, and um, this will just pull off, and there you go. If it's if you look here, you've got a standard uh, SATA connector here, and so you can just use this drive um, as an internal drive, and you'll see it's exactly the same mounting holes here. There you go. So I've just saved you uh, ooh, 50 quid. There we go. That's it. That's how to do it.